out outside the goat house. <laughs> you, you, you haven't been running your mouth from outside the goat house. You want some too, Perk? Is that it? Perk wants some too, y'all. Perk. You big Beaumont, Texas boy. I tell you, all y'all Beaumont, Texas, Port Octa. Boy, 330 in Houston. <laughs> what is going on out there? Y'all got me standing out MJ house where he didn't want his chips from. I told y'all, all y'all about it. It was 16 of y'all out there. <laughs> he, he sneaked this and ah. Uh, I'm going to tell y'all what this is about. See, Kendrick Perkins is mad. Because he's always been a lap dog. He always that little lap dog that keep crawling up on people's lap and rolling behind other people. They only hung out with him because he was the big enforcer guy. He's another fake tough guy. He was just a big muscle. But you a ball player, Perk. That's all you was. You was a great high school ball player. You was athletic for your size. You know, before your knees got all messed up, you was very athletic in high school and stuff. Played with LeBron and you start kissing his butt. Anybody who you was bigger than you or you felt was bigger than you, you was kissing their butt. Captain Jack. All of them. Right? Let me tell you about these two dupes. He put that post out, man. He was a real number one peak post to look like. You wouldn't know. You won a number one peak. So you wouldn't know. Aiden had to take some years to develop, right? He had to play with Devin Booker and play with some of the greats where he could develop. All of them came up together in development. Kwame didn't have that. He came up with a guy who just jumped on the team and decided he wanted to play Michael Jordan and changed the whole landscape of what they were trying to do. They got a win right now because MJ here. He's a rookie, 17 years old, coming into the league. Nobody thought you was that good, Perk, to try to draft you number one. Then stack gonna be in there. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Mm. Do I gotta refresh your memory, Perk? <laughs> what happened at the club down there in Beaumont, Texas, when you tried to promote a party and dude didn't want to pay you your money, and then you and Stack went down there. Stack was at your crib, and y'all went over there to try to put hands on the doggone club owner. You remember that, Perk? You tried to play tough with him, and he told you go kick rocks. I ain't paying you nothing. <laughs> yeah. See, I, I got I got receipts on all y'all. <laughs> I got receipts on all y'all. And you can't handle your liquor, you gonna play some dominoes, pass out playing dominoes, high blood pressure. Man, domino! I told y'all boys, sit down, have a seat. We know about y'all. Y'all outside getting arrested for public intoxication. You and Stack. Then Beaumont, Texas, outside your creek. Damn, my memory good. Bunch of two dummies. Dumb and dumber. Blind leading the blind. Put out the Beaumont, these fools making y'all look bad.
dude, you got a dog on ESPN desk job because of LeBron putting you on TV. You can't pronounce two vowels together. Man, if it was all them, they said that I mean, go sit your mumble mouth ass down somewhere. You know nothing about what's going on out here. Talking about Aiden. This was the number one pick for the look like. Talking like he got marbles all in his damn mouth. Sit down somewhere. You on you on the gram crying. You, you on the gram crying. Man, these AAU coaches, man, it's out of control, man. You got parents fighting parents. Man, dog, you about 6'10", 300 pounds. Get in there and move somebody around. But you hang around LeBron wearing doggone dresses and purses and tight jeans. They don't make tight jeans for you, Perk. See, I tried to be the nice guy. <laughs> I tried to be nice. I'm done with Jack. I'm like, look, I dropped the anvil on his head. That boy out there hitting up numbers. He's doing everybody calling everything else. Got everybody sending threats. All the stuff they've already done. What I told you is facts. I ain't got to say allegedly. I said facts. Man, it ain't no alleged. You passing out high blood pressure out there can't handle dominoes. Passing out in a damn domino game. You crying because parents fighting in the AAU game. Man, y'all need to get it together. Because uh, your son out there playing AAU and he ain't no damn good about terrible as you. Kevin Durant wondering why the hell was you even on this damn team. And you opening your mouth. Talking about this is what a number one pick supposed to look like. Somebody need to tell you this is what a power forward is supposed to look like. This is what speaking is supposed to look like and sound like. <laughs> Man, got Captain Jack on going in the comment section. That's all I'm saying. You don't know what you're saying. Y'all set that whole thing up. You told him to post that so you can go on there and make a comment. Right, instead of Perk saying, you know what, I'm going to be real, you know, and say, hey, Kwame made a good point, which he did. Everybody else said that, but Perk can't say that because he was he was uh, Stack's lap boy. You and Stack went to go beat up the doggone club on how that work out. Did you get paid? I think all these dudes are stupid. 3.30 to Houston. All right, ain't no real ones out there like has no more. You know what I'm saying? We got to deal with Perk. I'm like, Rondo, they pay you to talk? <laughs> I'm like Rondo now. They pay you to talk? <laughs> Somebody actually paid money to hear this dude talk. I mean, you feel bad for him. You know, he's like a, he one of them little kids that's like, you know, was probably troubled in school because he probably was quiet because he couldn't speak too well. Always running behind people. They only need you to knock down doors. That's all they need. Yo, get Big Perk. We don't go to the candy store. Can I roll with y'all when y'all playing the video games? Nah, man, but when we roll down there to go beat up these dudes, we taking you. 
okay <laughs> just call me let me know they from Beaumont which is basically Houston and Port Arthur all of them it's all the same they, Port Arthur is a smaller place but still Beaumont Texas them Beaumont now, they got some crazy, crazy people there, boy. Good Lord, it ain't nuts. Yeah, hard, it was the truth. They pay you to talk? Look, people in Houston like, dude, they not Houston. <laughs> No, I ain't seen the video of him dribbling in the driveway, but I'm quite sure I'm going to see it. Man, I mean, LeBron James at this point got to be the best player in the whole world because I was in the G League with bad knees and I wasn't even playing in the G League. They were sitting me down. He was like, man, Perk, you my mans. I'm going to put you on the Cleveland Cavs roster just so you can roll with us one last time. You know you ain't going to play or nothing, but you'll still be there. This dude almost trips Drake, Steph Curry on the sideline. <laughs> Perk about to fight Drake in the damn line. That's the only thing he could do. Man, I don't even like you, Drake. <laughs> I don't like how line bling. <laughs> I mean, dog, can they find, do you, Perk, can you find any clothes that fit you? they like, we don't make it in Neanderthal. <laughs> we went through all the sizes. That's the extra, extra, extra large. And he's wearing that. I mean, dog, the, the thing be all up on his neck. Then, and then. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on with this dude? Yo, y'all, y'all should have hit the like button a long time ago. You let Stack put a battery in your back like he did when you guys went in there and tried to extort the guy for the money for the club. You had a partnership with the dude for the club. And the reason why you didn't get paid, Perk, because you didn't probably read and understand the, what y'all agreed to in business. If y'all didn't hit a certain quota of numbers, why is he paying you? You was there to promote the thing. It was like, yo, Big Perk is in town. And nobody gave a damn, and they didn't come. So a lot of people didn't show up, so he's not making the numbers. He was like, dog, I'm not, why am I paying you for? You was getting a percentage of what was going to come through the, the event. Nothing coming through here, dog. So we ain't even hit the numbers. You get a percentage off that. But you don't get paid. You ain't getting no money off that. So you thought you going to go, man, I'm going to give my money. Man, he owe me money. Come on, Stack. Man, I got your back. Know what I'm saying? Oh, this before he was, uh, this one he thought he was blood. Yo, that's on Pyru on the five, baby. Stack five. I got that. Where my red rag? <laughs> so he was grabbing, he went to grab the rag so he can go on out there and get it in. How did that go, Perk? Did you get your money? You went back to the house playing dominoes with him. Yeah, man, he better have my money. Oh. <laughs> they had to take your big ass to 911 because you passed out from high blood pressure playing dominoes. <laughs> man, stay out of this, Perk. Stay down. This is not your fight. Passing out playing dominoes. Then the next day, they all getting rowdy again. They out there drunk. You and Stack running y'all miles and the cops take y'all in for public intoxication. Y'all too stupid to go in the house and drink. How 
who gets public intoxication in front of their damn house? Two dumbasses. That's who. Now, as I told you, I got receipts on these dudes. <laughs> they need to just stop. <laughs> Quit talking like you in a glass house. He gonna put out that post of Aiden talking about, man, this is what a number one pig supposed to look like. Trying to throw a shot at Kwame. When Aiden came in the league, he was busted for roids. Suspended everything, but he had time to develop and work on his game. He didn't just get drafted this year. He didn't come in as a 17-year-old rookie. He came into a situation where he had to provide immediately. The whole thing shifted from the moment he got there because Jordan announced like almost a week before the season start that he's going to join the team. So it isn't just Aiden out there. It's actually Booker. It's actually all the other pieces they put around him. They didn't develop Kwame like that. Talking about this what a number one pick supposed to look like. Were you number one pick, Perk? What pick was you? What pick was you, Perk? So you don't know what you're talking about. You're going to diss somebody who was the number one pick in the draft trying to use somebody else. This was the number one pick for the look like. Yeah, they tried to rush Kwame along. Yeah, OKC thought they was getting Perk that was in and down there with the big three. Perk wanted to think he could run the point. All kind of goofiness. Now he's trying to push his son to be a star. He down there pushing him to make it so he can pay some bills. You going to send your school, your son to an all white school, then complain he's at an all white school. Me and my son, man, I got to walk him to school, man, because it's crazy, man. They just hung somebody down the street, man. And then, you know, he go to all white school, man, He and, you know, he be feeling singled out. Man, that's what I had before. I had to go and walk my son to school. So, you know, because he's like the only black guy in there, man. I'm like, dude, you, there's places in Texas where you can go to Spring, Texas. You already around there. Matter of fact, your son is in the same AAU as my boy. His kid and your kid is in the same AAU. They're all in the gym all the time. He see you all the time, Big Perk. You actually took a picture with his daughter. There's plenty of schools that's diverse in great neighborhoods and the suburbs of Houston, out in Spring, Texas. They have very, very... <laughs> Y'all know Sean from Houston? That's why I'm like, why y'all even ask me that question? Y'all know Sean from Houston.
I mean, dog, that's what I'm saying. It's like they act like they the biggest goons in the world. It's like, Perk, you was never a goon. You just big, dog. You wasn't big like, you wasn't doing nothing like that. They use you for intimidation. <laughs> you know, big Perk out there. But big Perk, is, you ain't that guy. You know what I'm saying? You ain't that guy, dude. Just stop. Don't even get in it. It's cool to be a nice dude, to be a big, nice guy. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Quit trying to throw some sub subliminal shot. You don't even know how to throw a subliminal shot. Quit letting Stack put a, a battery in your back to do something. That, tell Stack, man, you going to post that on your page, man. I don't want to get involved in that stuff, man. That, yeah, why don't you tell him that? But you never could because he knew... You was his lap dog. Stack me. Come on, man. Roll with me over here. Make me look good in front of this girl. I'm finna impress this chick, man. She gotta see my red rag and stuff. And she see you with me. That's gonna make me look big. Yeah. But you in the, we in the NBA. Yeah, that don't matter though. We gotta get our street cred up. Come on, perp. Yeah. Yeah, babe. Stack five. See five. Got my red rag. What's up with you? What you be about? Yeah, girly. <laughs> it's my boy Perk. You got a home. You got a girl from him. Yeah, I need one too, girly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We about that real gangster life over here. Me and Perk. <laughs> Don't y'all play in the NBA? Yeah, we play ball too. And then on the when we ain't playing ball, we on the streets, babe. You know what I'm saying? We real. Ain't no security around us. We real. <laughs> yeah, I don't need no security. No way. Taking all my money. Hanging around me. I don't got no problem with nobody. <laughs> Where you get that purse? That's a nice purse. <laughs> hey, just let me do the talking, big man. Triple OG. Yeah, this is back before he had to before he became the Koofy Goofy. I don't know what's wrong with these dudes, man. Tell you the truth. I don't know what's wrong with them, man. I don't think anybody thinks anymore. Oh, Matt Barnes? Oh, man. I'm going to tell you what happened with Matty Patty. I was getting ready to, to flame and serve him up. And somebody was like, they think Matt going to apologize or something. So I was like, he is? All right. Somebody said they know Matt and all that. And he was trying to wonder, like, man, what did I, who is that guy? I don't even know him. Why is he doing this to me? So. He's playing like he don't know and nothing's involved in his hands. He's been busy working, trying to make movies and all this stuff. So they was like, man, he's going to apologize, man. He's going to send you something to say, hey, man, whatever it is I did to offend you, I'm sorry. So I'm like, you know what? If Matt does that, I won't have to drop the hand bill on him. But he got 24 hours. He on the clock. <laughs> if he tell me... <laughs> He on that clock, so I ain't gonna drop the anvil on him. If he wanna bow out, he can bow out. Just point me in the direction of the person I need to talk to. <laughs> Was it Jack? You all with it? Matt Barnes movie's out now. That Meet the Blacks too. He's one of the exec producers of the movie. And he's in the movie. The one with Cat Williams, Mike Epps. So Y'all be listening when I'm talking. <laughs> Told you, man, I got the foul on these dudes. 
He signed with ICM Partners. Oh, wait a minute. It's Powerball stuff, ain't it? What's going on tonight? I need to get this stick five money. Uh, what we got? Lot. What we got tonight? Lotto or what today is? Lotto. Tomorrow is fifty million. Okay, six point nine million. Yeah, I can give me some stack money. Let me go. Let me get some quick picks. Lotto. One. No, nah, give me twenty dollars worth. I can use 6.9. 330 in Houston. Okay, you pay everything together? Yep, and let me get one of these. Which one? One right here. Millionaire. Which number? The 29? 29. Or? Three thirty in Houston. I didn't need any intel for perks. I've been knowing that for years. To thirty-eight. Thank you. Three thirty in Houston. All the tough talk, man. It's crazy. There's only one man and 65 other people want to get involved. Now, I showed evidence. Ooh. I showed evidence that that boy was a ready rat, 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 rat. That he ratted. Show the evidence by reading you what was on the report. And what did y'all say? Thanks for the super chat, brother. Hey, I'm shot. Rolls Royce truck. They said we stood out. Only one mistake. I ain't have a lookout. Quarter and shoe. Shopping at Walmart. Take me out the hood. I can't take the hood out. Make my whole city. 330 in Houston. <laughs> 330 in Houston. Gonna put that subliminal text out. Then Stack gonna go and comment. That's all I'm saying, though. Come on, man. Please. The Ceno coming, nickel. 3.30 in Houston. All right, they still talking about basketball. Why don't they team up? I told this dude was a snitch. You know what? They ain't even care he was a rat. That just shows you. I'm like, people are okay with people ratting. And I'm like, look, I don't care. He did what a basketball player is supposed to do. Hey, this is the guy. I could describe him all. This is what happened. But don't be Johnny Dangerously one minute when the cameras is off, you ratting. But you Johnny Dangerously any other time. 
We don't honor that. You know what I'm saying? I don't honor that. Talking about this is what a number one pick supposed to look like. Talking about Aiden. Yeah, you talking about Aiden. This is what a number one pick supposed to look like. And posted that. And then got stack coming in at the bottom of it. But that's what I'm saying. Why are you why are you getting involved? Are we know stack's your man. Stack and you used to hang out, and he tried to help you go get your money back at that nightclub from that club owner. And that club owner said, kick rocks, I don't care who you brought. <laughs> care about this bug bunny teeth ass nigga, he ain't getting no money either. <laughs> he told you to kick rocks. And y'all went back all that, trying to cause all that commotion. They gonna go back to the house all pumped up and angry. Man, he lucky, man. I ain't squeeze his head, man, and crush it. He lucky I'm in a good mood, man. Let's get this domino game going. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Count him up. <sighs> Perk, you all right? Dude, passing out at the domino game. High blood pressure. Bunch of weirdos, man. What's going on with these people? <laughs> Then the next day, y'all get arrested. <laughs> then y'all get arrested the next day for public intoxication right outside your house. You and you and Stack. <laughs> Bunch of doofuses, man. I'm like, where do they make these kind of CV4, boy? They straight out of low cash. <laughs> I guess he stabbed Master Arson. <laughs> You got MC Gusto and Stabmaster Arson. Stabmaster. <laughs> Dude, pass it out at domino games. You can't take the pressure. <laughs> Man, it's a lot of pressure. If I play this one. I don't know. It's a lot of pressure. Come on, Perk, man. You've been holding them damn dominoes for 20 minutes. Man, I don't do them, man. I could go there or... It's a lot, a lot of pressure. <laughs> Perk, come on. This ain't the finals. Make a play. Uh, count them down, baby. Oh, no. <sighs> Perk, you all right? <laughs> See, I don't got to say alleged. I don't got to say alleged. I don't have to say alleged. Oh no. No, Matty Patty is dead, Mike. Perk is stab master awesome. What's up, 13th Disciple? Oh, John's gone? I mean, dog. Can you imagine that? I mean, it's going on for like how many years? That was years ago that happened. Years ago.
And then right after that, bing, bong, bing. Done for. I mean, think about it. This is going all the way back. This is documented history of what has already transpired with them. They talking like they the biggest gangsters and they were the greatest players of all time. <laughs> you hear Stack talk like he was just, like he was Jordan. Like he won a chip in San Antonio. Like, dude, you got a chip, but it wasn't like, man, without you, Stack, we wouldn't have won this chip. You was the driving force. They thought you were so good, they didn't let you go. I don't know, man. Rappers are real sensitive nowadays. Man. Oh no, passing out in domino games. Who gets arrested? Who gets cit citated for public intoxication right outside their house? What they do that at? It seemed to be happening with these doggone CB4 dudes. I mean, dog, it's documented fact. That's why I told you. Tell Stack, Stack, come out and say I'm a liar. He's seen the video. Everybody been roasting him on his IG. He be he he's deleting y'all comments, ain't he? He deleting his y'all comments about him being a rat. He ain't come out and said, man, people know I ain't no rat. I ain't do that. Tell him to send his lawyers to send me a cease and desist letter. Saying I'm lying. He know what's on that police report. He know what he said. He know what the report says. And he know I got it. <laughs> See, y'all think it's just entertainment and everything else. Like, I created all this and fantasized. No, that was not fantasy. That's in the report. He knows all of that is in the damn police report. Him telling. You got punched in the mouth by a short, stocky guy named Fingers. One good arm and one handicap arm. I can see him coming down there now. Fingers. Man, you $500 NBA basketball player. <laughs> fingers. Let, me, let him go, Fingers. Get off of him, Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, I can't make that up. I ain't that good. <laughs> I promise you. I cannot make that up. Like the fugitive. Like he is <laughs> the fugitive 2021. Steven Jackson. Wasn't me, man. It was this dude named Fangus. <laughs> it was a one arm guy named Fangus. <laughs> Fangus. Man, he probably hit you with that short arm. That short arm has some has some pop in it. You 6'8", this dude's short, he looking up to you. $500 fake NBA players, y'all ain't got no money. Think I can't get up there? He probably jumped up there and cracked you. Ugh, hit you with that short arm. Oh! <laughs> hey, thanks for the super chat, I see. <laughs> Fingers. Ugh, ugh. Uh, uh. Fingers, baby. <laughs> Stop playing with me. That shit all had some pop, baby. It was that scary movie, too, the dude. This is my strong girl. <laughs> this is my strong girl. <laughs> Fingers. Man.
Oh, you got beat up by a little dude named Fingers. Then you ratted on Fingers. <laughs> then you ratting on them. Then you, they popped you with a car. <laughs> Flipped you all up in the air. You bust your whole, knock all your dog old teeth out your mouth. And you got the gun. <laughs> the only one that fired shots was you. And it hit nothing. Everybody, and you keep getting hit. <laughs> I'm like, God, dog. Where do they make these dudes at? I cannot. Dude, the Game Banging Federation of America would have to have a meeting with you. Be like, looking at your paperwork, it don't look good. Shot 10 times, you hit nothing. You're the only one with a gun. <laughs> and they knocked you out, smacked you with a car. This is not making sense here. You made us look bad. You got knocked out by a guy named Fingers. You got one handicap arm and one normal arm. Was the normal arm the one that hit you at least? I don't know. It was so quick. Oh, this, this looks bad on us, man. Can't say you're gangbanging no more, man. You cannot say that. You're making the gangbanging coalition of America look bad. Gotta remove your stripes. Branded, branded as a one who ran. <laughs> what do you do when you're branded, but you think you a man? <laughs> oh, man. The white Howard donated a super chat? Damn, this, this world didn't change. I, now that just shocked me right there. So now he went from gang banging to slinging bean pies. He drinking St. Ives and slinging bean pies in the same rhyme. <laughs> Calvin Jack. You get knocked out by a guy named Fingers. Hey. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't know I was this much old. Yeah, I got a... Oh, wow. Yeah, I would be too. I didn't know I was this far old. They moved you out of Indiana. I made the travels on shoot for the ceiling. They moved you out of Indiana because of it. Larry Bird wanted you out anyway. Larry Bird didn't like you. So you had an attitude problem. Bird didn't like you. So Bird was like, look, man, Rick Carlisle the one that stuck up for you. And you let him down in the worst way. They told you you can't have no more incidents. And then you go and get into this dumb incident. Everybody in your teammates kept their mouth shut. Except for stack. He the one that's messed up, not me. Okay, I'm trying to figure out. You mean outside of the pole? Yeah, because I got to be able to, like, pull out. But, yeah, that they're the ones that's out of pocket. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the person that's parked next to me, they the one out of control. That's crunchy black. AKA CB2G. Or look at the business, my net worth about a cool two million. Ooh, net worth worth about a cool two million. If I hit tonight, I'm gonna have more money than you, Jack. Cause that's what it's all about, right, Jack? Money. 
Am I safe? You all right? You sure? Okay. I don't want the neighbor to come kill me, you know? Pink folks are crazy. Uh-oh, stacked on me out here. Gotta look out for the stack. Captain Jack. Three thirty in Houston. He got knocked out by a dude named Fingers. <laughs> what did the Fingers say to the face? Slap! Okay. Whoa! Kevin, Kevin, this might seem crazy to you, but they put Thanos in the Fortnite. They put him in the Fortnite. Thanos is on Fortnite? Yeah. When you snap, he, you can snap his fingers. You can snap it. Snap his fingers. And then everybody disappear? Um, <laughs> Some, some people. Thanos is on Fortnite. Yep. Okay, this is Madden 22. Hold on. Madden 22. Okay. They done found a way to hustle Madden 22 out here. Is the game fully out? No, it's the beta. Gavin. Go. Can I show him the game really quick? My one game I'm gonna play? Because uh -huh. Dad is allowing me to play one game. Uh oh, Jack is on Fortnite. I better look out. Jack's gonna be looking for me. But I'm gonna run into Perk. Me and Perk gonna have some words. So, what are you showing him? I'm showing him a game. So, welcome. I'm coming to Houston and then I'm gonna talk to Perk.